Hi guys and welcome to your um, Twin Flame Tarot love messages here. These are going to be general messages as it is a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, I'm going to give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in regarding a Twin Flame connection here. Okay, there's a strong message coming in, um, or a strong message is about to be received here. It feels like it's a message of forgiveness. It feels like it's a message of hope. Okay. Um, it could be you, though. For those of you that you know haven't had, haven't heard from your twin flame connection, from your twin flame here, your divine masculine or your divine feminine, I feel like there's a message that's coming in, in from them very uh, shortly. It feels like this message here could speak of forgiveness. So if they've, if they've done something or said something to hurt you or disappoint you or they've let you down, I feel like they've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of processing lately. And I see them coming in with a message, okay? There's a lot of hope attached to this message so i feel like this message here could give you an opportunity to maybe go back here and uh, fix some things from the past so maybe go back and resolve through some issues maybe go back and rediscover the connection that you guys had you know that you once had in the very beginning you might also you know discover some things about yourselves and about one another in the process it's also a message that i feel like has a sense of hope or like reconciliation attached to it so they may come in with forgiveness or asking your for your forgiveness i feel like you're i feel like they've been doing a lot of reflecting lately especially on their actions and their words and their behavior towards you here so um and because of all of this introspection and because of all of this self-reflecting and self-analysis that your twin flame has been doing i feel like this um this leads them to reach out to you. So I'm seeing that for a lot of you, this message that's coming in has is long awaited. Okay, so there is communication. Um, your twin flame, he might finally open up to you, may finally, you know, um, apologize for their actions. Um, for some of you, I feel like this message could also, if it's not an apology, for a lot of you, I do see it's an apology. It may not be the apology that you want or it may not be apolo the apology that you deserve, but at least it's a start. At least it's an apology, right? For others of you, I feel like it's a message that um, will tell you, will signal that they do want a commitment, okay? Um, and it once again, they may not exactly say it in the way that you want to you want to hear it, but I do feel like the underlying, um, you know, the underlying message of their communication will signal, will hint to you that, okay, they're committed to you, or at least they're, they're committed to the idea of, you know, making it work, of, you know, sticking with you and see what, um, what will come of this. So I do feel like because of the color symbolism and the fact that there is no, um, notice how the sky is so clear, there's no, um, obstacles or, um, Nothing obstructs, you know, the sky, the, the background here. This tells us that um, there's forward momentum and there's positivity or there's hope or there's good to come from this communication. There's good to come from the fact that you're hearing from them, you know, and they're reaching out and they're communicating. I feel like um, this this sort of signals that there's forward momentum or the two of you are moving on from something here or you're moving forward towards something here. Your twin flame also wants you to know that um, and I feel like they'll say it within the message. Um, your twin flame wants you to know that they're deeply tied or they're deeply connected to you as well. Okay. I also feel like there is something here, like with the arrival of this message, with the fact that communication um, lines are going to be open here, I feel like there's a possibility to sort of inject some fun and excitement and romance back into your connection. Okay. So once again, I do feel like the fact that, you know, you guys are talking or... Um, you know, you guys are possibly reconciling things or differences here. Um, I feel like there's a lot of positivity here. Okay, there's a lot of positivity. There's a lot of things to look um, to look towards. Okay, and we've got strength. For some of you, I 
feel like um, it's important that you hold on, okay? Because I feel like some of you maybe are on the verge of letting go, letting your twin flame go, or I feel like you're just on the verge of giving up. Um, I get that your strength is being tested, and I get that your twin flame here is, sometimes they're pushing your boundaries, sometimes they're really testing your strength, sometimes you feel as though, you know, um, they could be like disrespecting you or at times you may feel as though this is all too much and it shouldn't be as difficult or as challenging or as you know tumultuous and turbulent as it's been um that's essentially you know it, it's exactly what you know makes up a twin flame connection is a lot of the times that it is like that okay it is challenging it is trying it is testing it's difficult it's much more difficult than it is easy these are this is sure signs of a twin flame connection, okay? Because twin flame connections, um, essentially, they challenge us, okay? They push us outside of a comfort zone. They test us. They test our character. They test our strength. They test our patience here. So everything that you're going through is, you know, essentially what a twin flame does here. And it's helping you build character. It's helping you grow. It's helping you gain strength. It's helping you build strength. So don't give up hope just because things right now feel like, okay, it's over or, you know, it's never going to come back together or I'm never going to get an opportunity to um, to amend things or we're never going to get a second chance at this. Don't give up hope because strength card tells us that, you know, you have, you've been strong for this long, guys, and you've been holding, you know, you've been holding in and you've been holding on to this connection for so long. Why give up the hope now? Okay. Because your breakthrough is a lot closer than you think. So strength is essentially telling you to hold to hold on, okay, you still have strength in you to keep, you know, to, to keep holding on, um, to keep going, and I feel like them reaching out or them communicating would just give you that little bit more strength that you need, or would just be like a shining light at the end of the tunnel, I feel like it will inject some hope for a lot of you. Um, you got the Seven of Cups here as well, and this is interesting, because some of you, I get that your twin flame here has options around them or they have choices. Some of you have even caught them, you know, they're constantly adding like new romantic interests or they, they're adding people on their um, social media platforms or they're giving others attention. Or you know that your twin flame here has choices around them, okay? And you know that they're floating up a storm elsewhere or you know that they could be out there, I mean, still, you know, wanting to keep their options open or playing the field Ultimately, I feel like they will choose you in the end, but I feel like it's sort of a lot of you have to go what you're going through to get to where you want to go. Um, and for those of you that are going to give up on on this Twin Flame connection, I don't think that you're going to see, I don't think that you're going to see, you know, how do I say this, the, the end result of it. So with the Seven of Cups, for a lot of you, you know, yes, your Twin Flame does have choices around them. And yes, they don't always choose you. They don't always, you know, put you first here. Um, but I feel like the Seven of Cups tells us that, you know, you have to maintain a sense of realism about your connection here. Okay, a lot of you, I feel like maybe have a tendency to romanticize your Twin Flame. After all, they're only human and they do have flaws and Twin Flames more often than not, they hold up a mirror to us and they mirror back to us our flaws and our shortcomings and our insecurities. So the insecurities that you see within your twin flame, sometimes they're a mirror and they reflect back your insecurities. So for a lot of you, I feel like this, you know, them having choices or them having options here. You need to know that, yes, they do have options or they do have choices, but I feel like in the end, they will choose you. Okay, they will choose you, but I'm seeing that for some of you, you have to go through this storm in order to come out of it. And because this card is a card of fantasy and illusion, I feel like some of you also have to take proactive steps to make your situation better rather than trying to fantasize, you know, about how you want it to be or how you want this to end or, you know, what you want the end result to be. I feel like some of you, you know, your imagination is actually a great tool, though, to help you get there, to help you envision the future that you want. But I feel like your imagination is not enough. Okay, so some of you need to take the steps. You need to take the proactive steps in, you know, in seeing this connection or in trying to make your situation or your relationship, you know, better than it is here. Um,
So some of you, I feel like the Seven of Cups is telling us that maybe you're putting in too much energy into fantasizing about how you want your relationship to be or, you know, how you want your Twin Flame connection here to, um, to, to turn out. But I feel like instead of sort of, you know, putting so much energy into fantasizing and uh, building up illusions and expectations, some of you, you need to take the realistic steps or you need to take a realistic approach rather, okay? Um... And going back to the choices, look, it could be you. You could be the one that has choices around, you know, the choices here are around your energy. And if that's the case, I feel like the message that the tarot cards want you to hear is that remember the grass isn't always greener on the other side, okay? It is greener where you water it most, guys. All right, and these are the messages for you. Thank you again for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.